What's happening guys? Dan Healy here from Palmer Fitness and today I'm doing my very first live webinar guys. Very excited, very nervous as well at the same time. Obviously everything in life that's new will make us a little bit nervous. Um, but very excited guys to talk to you guys today about our topic which is how to have the body of your dreams without hating your diet, okay? So many people fall victim to this guys. So many people have really just don't know where, where they're going wrong or where they're going right with their nutrition as well. That's what I want to break down today. Um, I've done 300 consults over the last 12 months. I've speak, spoken to a lot of people in Mandra, and you guys are all seem to be making the, like, very, very similar mistakes um, along your journey for the body of your dreams. Okay, so this is something today, guys, I want to really uh, speak to you guys as, as, a, as a little bit large number in that as well. I want to really break these myths, guys, and get you guys on the right path so you can make those changes within your life. Okay, so I'm very excited to get started. Let's kick off, guys. First thing I want to kick off with guys is if you guys stay to the end, you go into the draw to win a free year of transformation with Final Fitness and who wouldn't want that? We're going to spend 12 months with you guys doing everything we can to get you guys to that point where you want to be, okay, to your dream body. First thing I want to talk about guys is my story, okay, give you guys a bit of a background of myself, who I am and why I do what I do today, okay. Basically guys, as a teenager, as a kid, I was a little bit overweight and I was bullied for this, okay. Too many kids are bullied because of their appearance because of their, also their, their weight, and this is something I have to change in Mandra, okay? I was very insecure, I was very anxious, I dealt with a lot of social anxiety in the past, um, depression, I dealt with a lot of um, issues within myself, just not really knowing who I was, and how did I get out of this? I got out of this, guys, through exercise, okay? I started working out and I started feeling better about myself, and just from there, guys, everything in my life started to gel, and I basically started to grow more confident and, then, and then from there, I basically started to push myself outside my comfort zone to create the life that I wanted, okay? This is Mind and Crystal's mission for you guys as well. I want to give people the ability to actually go out and take what they want from life, okay? I want you guys to be able to mold whatever life you want because you're confident, because you're sure of yourself, because you're um, obviously you have that self-love, self-respect, and you just have that drive and passion to do whatever you want to do with your life, okay? This is very, very important to myself and this is, this is why I wake up every morning obviously ready to go, excited for the day because I get to help you guys accomplish whatever you want to accomplish. What I want to go through now guys is before the webinar ends, you will know how to stop yo-yo diets, okay? What is a yo-yo diet, guys? It's basically, I call it the biggest loser syndrome. What we have guys is we have a lot of people out there, they go through these diets, basically the really strict diets, and really really strict training um, regimen as well. And with this here guys, once they finish it guys, they can no longer maintain that, that level of commitment. So what happens is they yo-yo, they go backwards, okay? The amount of clients that have done challenges in the past elsewhere and they've always put the weight back on afterwards is telling us that they don't enjoy the process of that challenge, okay? It should be fun, it should be exciting, okay? Because if it's if it's actually exciting, if it's enjoyable, it's sustainable as well, okay? Very, 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 sorry, very, very high importance for that there, guys. Okay, one other thing you gotta learn, guys, through this webinar is how to actually enjoy eating out and not stressing over fat gain, okay? For many, many years, guys, I just believed I couldn't eat out, I couldn't obviously afford to, and I would basically put body fat on if I was to do this. I was the worst uh, boyfriend ever. I basically, the first 12 months that I was dating Crystal, who's my fiance now, uh, basically the first 12 months we were together, I never took her out to dinner, okay, because that was my belief that I would put body fat on very easy if I did go out to dinner, okay. Now, guys, we go out to dinner maybe once, twice a week, and basically 10% body fat all year round as well because I found a process that works for me and works for my clients to get, get you guys to where you want to be um, but then able to actually enjoy life at the same time as well, okay? We love food, we absolutely love food and you should love food and you should be able to enjoy food still, okay? So I'm going to explain to you guys today how this works and how we can get you guys going out to dinner on the weekend not stressing about obviously putting on body fat or going backwards with your progress because you have a dream, because you have something at a restaurant, okay? Last thing I want to go through today, guys, is that basically what I want to teach you guys is how to work out less and get more results. Yes, you heard me right, okay? You shouldn't have to live in the gym to basically look like you work out, okay? This is something, once again, that I did all the time. I used to work out seven, eight, nine times a week thinking I'd get more results than that as well, and it's completely not true, okay? With all my clients, I always sit you guys down and basically say, I want you to do three or four days a week, okay? If you guys start doing six or seven or eight or so, a lot of the time, we're losing, obviously, focus elsewhere, okay? So I'm gonna tighten up with you guys and really show you guys how to take control of that so you can see that progress today as well, okay? What I'm gonna teach you today, guys, has gotten us so many transformations over the years. For instance, here's Paul, he lost 16 kilos with us in eight weeks, 
Okay, here's Kim who's down 12 kilos with this in her first eight weeks, and that's well and continuing even further. Uh, Steph is down seven kilos, uh, okay, heaps of muscle as well. Daniel's down 14 kilos. Uh, we've got Sean here in three months, basically lost almost 20 kilos. Alandra down six kilos, she's stacked on heaps of muscle as well. She's looking to compete next year. Rachel's down six kilos. Brody's down over 10 kilos and continuing to obviously see that progress now as well. Scotty went from 30 and 35% body fat down to 16% body fat. Uh, Alana's down six kilos, looking great. John's went from 16% body fat, which is already pretty lean, um, and then he's down to now 9% body fat. He's maintained that all the way throughout the year with that process. Andrew dropped 12 kilos and gained two kilos muscle as well. I really need a new photo of Andrew because he's lost heaps more. And he's looking like just even, even, even better than he does look here as well. Lindsay dropped eight kilos. Uh, Brad dropped seven kilos in eight weeks. Uh, Keita downed uh, six kilos and put two kilos of muscle on as well. Uh, this is with an injury as well, guys. She had uh, basically a ten ice within her shoulder. Um, absolutely amazing. Um, still taking the challenge. She actually won that challenge in that as well. Um, taking the challenge, doing something amazing. Even though we had to regress her, even though we had obviously certain, certain issues with exercises we had to pull her back from, she's still the absolutely amazing. So there's, no, there's really no excuse um, to see these sorts of results in that as well if, you, if you're driven, if, you, if you're passionate, if you want that change. Um, something I want you guys to promise me today, guys, I want you to promise me not to hide this information, okay? What you learned today, guys, please go and share it, okay? Please go and tell your family, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, your frenemies, your enemies. Tell everyone, guys. Tell everyone you can, okay? Because I want to get this information out because I'm done. I'm sick of going through consults and basically having to explain the same thing over and over, guys. I want to educate you guys all at once so we can break these myths within the industry and we can make these changes within your body and your transformations, okay? Absolute must, guys. Share this information. Alrighty guys, let's dive straight into it guys with our first secret, the first myth we're going to bust today. First myth guys we're going to kill is less is better. Okay, In the industry guys, everyone thinks they have to be at a deficit to lose weight. Everyone thinks they basically have to starve themselves and they're going to get skinny. Okay, This is completely false guys. Okay, This slows your metabolism down, it destroys your muscle mass and it really leaves you nowhere to go in the long, in the long basically game. Okay. What we have to do, guys, is we have to get you guys eating more, okay? Out of the 300 consults that I've done in the last 12 months, guys, I've found the norm for most people is between 500 to 1,000 calories, the guys as well included, okay? Why is this a losing battle, okay? Basically, with this, guys, you lose muscle mass, your metabolism slows down, your body gets very, very skilled at holding and hoarding body fat, okay? This is something that will not work, okay? This is here, guys, is an end of an era, okay? What we find now, guys, is skinny is no longer, obviously, what we're all aiming for. We're aiming for curves. We're aiming for, um, obviously, that lean, muscular physique. This is what we want because it's healthier, okay? Which one here, guys, looks healthier? Which one here looks better to you guys? Is it the left or is it the right, okay? It's going to be the right. All right, guys, so I want to introduce you guys now. I want to introduce you guys to James. James here, guys, James basically to the left here, he is on 1,000 calories, okay? And to the right there, he's on 3,400 calories. Which one looks better for James? Where does James look happy? Where does James look confident? Where does he look healthy? Okay, it's gonna be the right one, okay? With this here, guys, the reason why 1,000 calories was basically killing J James's progress was when he did go out to eat dinner, when he could, did go, obviously, to enjoy food with his family, 1,000 calories a day, that's what his body was used to. Basically, what it would do then, it would, it would store whatever he ate additional, okay? His body was so used to just living off almost no calories, so when it did go out, when he did go out, it was just so so ready to put body fat on. Him at 3,400 calories, guys, means he's got muscle, he's got that metabolism that's working for him, okay? With this here, if James goes out to dinner, he's got 3,400 calories to back him up, okay? That's his tolerance within his body. Okay, so that muscle that's going to help him burn that energy as well. It's amazing. I've got guys as well. So basically, the more muscle we have, guys, the, the, the faster and the, the more efficient our BMR is. BMR is how many calories we burn at rest. Okay, I've got guys in mind that are basically, um, they're basically 100 kilos of solid muscle in that sport, and they're, they're burning like 2,600 calories a day at rest, doing nothing. Okay, because they have that muscle mass, because they have that effective metabolism. They basically, it's very hard for them to put body fat on. This is what's absolutely amazing. One of my guys has got back from Bali, he didn't put any body fat on, okay? His diet was, it was a little bit off over in, over in Bali. Obviously, he's gonna have a couple of drinks. He's gonna go out to, to eat most meals and that's well, because that's Bali. But he came back and he didn't put any, any, any body fat on. That's crazy, like how amazing would that be? Was I've seen clients over the years that basically refuse to put muscle on, that refuse to obviously um, build up their baseline, build up the metabolism, 
and refuel this and get their body working for them rather than against them. They go to Bali, they put three, four kilos on within a week. That's something we do not want, okay? Absolutely not. And yes, this applies for women as well, guys. The same applies for women. You've got Crystal here who's on 2,700 calories and counting, okay? With this here, guys, because Crystal has such a massive playing field and James has such a massive playing field as well, when it comes time to obviously, if they want to get leaner, they can then reduce from 2,700 for Crystal, maybe down to about 2,300, okay? For James, we're taking from 3,400, maybe down to 2,800, okay? But with James before at 1,000 calories, we couldn't possibly reduce that without causing issue, without causing injury, without causing inflammation in his body because he would have been very malnourished, okay? But now these guys here at this high tolerance within their body, they have room to move in terms of reduction, okay? And James is gonna do a reduction period with us early next year in that as well. And we're gonna have him on about 3,600 calories by the time he's ready to reduce. We'll take him down to maybe two, two eight, maybe 3,000. And it's gonna get down to 6% body fat because we have that playing field. Whereas 1,000 calories a day, guys, you can't reduce that, okay? It's not gonna happen. The reason why, obviously, this process is so good, guys, is because we can go through with our clients, we can go through with you guys, and we can teach you guys carb manipulation, okay? This is carb reduction, this is carb cycling. This is a process that bodybuilders and fitness models do, basically, the months prior to stepping on stage, okay? These people here, guys, are the best in the world at getting lean. That is their job. That is, that is basically their industry. That is their, their career, okay? Why would we not learn from them, okay? With, with keto, with obviously, with, with, with these other sorts of methods, and that's well, a lot of the time, paleo, there's, there's always roadblocks. With this here, guys, you can take it as far as you can, okay? With James, he won't even have to do carb cycling because he doesn't have that much to lose. If James started with us at 50% body fat, we may have a process of carb reduction and carb cycling if needed, okay? It gives you guys these tactics to break through those barriers, those walls, when it's time to do that, okay? This is why I absolutely believe in carb reduction over everything, carb manipulation, sorry, over everything, because it's so much more effective. It gives you guys a machine gun when it's time to blow down that wall, okay? It gives you guys a sledgehammer to knock down that wall, whereas a lot of the time, with other sort of plans, with other sort of processes, we don't really know what to do once we hit that wall, okay? Your trainer says train more, and that's a lot of the time, it's not gonna be effective. It's gonna be too much for your body, it's gonna basically promote injuries, and you're gonna go backwards because you're not gonna enjoy it as much because you're always sore from, from working out 24-7. Okay guys, the next secret guys is secret two, work out less. Okay, we have to kill the myth guys of train more for more results. This is something that I fell into uh, big time early on in that as well because I thought basically if I just train more and more and more, I'm gonna see a lot more progress, but that's absolutely not true at all. Okay, it's quite counterproductive actually as well because you lose focus elsewhere. You lose focus on your nutrition because you're so tired from working out all the time. Um, why is this so amazing? We have to train smarter guys. Why hit sessions? Hit sessions basically guys, this is why we do it in the gym. Hit sessions guys will basically keep burning energy for 36 hours after. 36 hours after guys, that's absolutely insane. But why is muscle and strength number one, okay? Muscle and strength number one, guys, because we build that muscle, we build up your BMR, we build up that metabolism, okay? We build up the amount that you burn energy at rest, okay? This is why muscle is absolutely amazing. It's a lot of hard work, guys, for the body to maintain muscle. It has to constantly be burning energy. This is why guys, I've said like The Rock, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you got, they, they had to add like five, 6,000 6, calories to maintain their muscle. That was their tolerance. Okay, if they go out to dinner, they, they're gonna be fine. If they go out to have lunch or Christmas day or if they go and enjoy themselves a little bit, um, they're gonna be fine. This is why you see The Rock's cheat days, absolutely massive pancake stacks because he's got so much working for him and his body and his metabolism, okay? Where to put this newfound time, guys? What I always suggest, guys, is track your macros. The first thing you need to know about macros, guys, we're gonna talk about macros versus calories, okay? Macros are protein, carbs, and fats, okay? With this here, guys, basically, if we track our calories, guys, that will control your body weight, okay? Just, just your body weight. If you control your macros, or that this will control your body composition, which body composition, guys, is body fat and muscle. Let me flip back this photo here, guys. You're gonna look completely different if you focus on body, obviously, composition over body weight, okay? To the left here, she's calorie focused. To the right here, she's macronutrient focused. That is the difference and the power of macros versus calories, okay? Biggest thing I hear all the time, guys, is not enough time. I don't have enough time to track my macros, okay? I don't have time for that. 
I'm gonna kill that myth, guys, right now, right here, very quickly. If you guys, obviously this is, this is what always happens, if you guys are saying this, guys, I want you to have a look at this, okay? I suggest, I sit a lot of my clients down, guys, and basically if, they, if they're training five, six days a week, I suggest cutting that in half, okay? Say a client's working out five days a week, and that's 90 minutes, obviously, because of driving that as well, times five, 7.5 hours in the gym, okay? It's obviously dedicated to the gym. Um, with this here, guys, I cut that in half. I guess I say, okay, let's let's just cut in half. Let's do three workouts a week. Basically, this here becomes ninety times three, four point five hours. Okay, that additional time, guys, they're always heaps better for doing this. That additional time, guys, goes to tracking their macros. Okay, let's find out how long it takes you to track macros. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer starting off with, but once you guys get a hang of it, at most, it's going to take sixty seconds per meal. Okay times maybe five meals a day. This is five minutes a day, guys. That's 35 minutes a week in comparison to training six, seven, eight sessions a week. You save heaps of time and you see heaps more results in that as well. This photo here, guys, I worked out four days a week. I just tracked my macros. Okay, I did carb cycling, I did carb reduction. That's, that's, that's all that I did to get down. I was about 6% body fat at the time. I uh, didn't, didn't do any cardio, it was just weights four days a week. That's all I did. Okay, that's the honest truth. And this is something we have to understand. You don't have to do mountains and mountains of cardio, okay? You have to track your macros and train three to four days a week with ideally weights and you're gonna see or hit sessions and you're gonna see these results, these results, okay? Can anyone track macros? Yes, they can, guys. I taught my nan how to track her macros. You're never too old, you're never too uneducated to track your macros, guys. Anyone can do it, okay? The only thing that's holding you back, guys, is the story you tell yourself about why you're not doing this, okay? And it's, I'm not tech savvy, I'm not, young enough to do this, I don't have time. These stories, guys, are killing your progress, okay? It is absolutely an excuse, and a lot of time it's a bullshit excuse as well, okay? Let's become self-aware, guys, and actually take on that blame, take ownership for your mistakes and your excuses, and then you can get rid of them, and then we can move forward to progress, okay? Next thing we're going through, guys, this is my favorite one, is flexible dieting, okay? This is the death of meal plans, guys, okay? We're full honestly killing meal plans. I don't wanna see meal plans anymore. What happens with a meal plan, guys, is you go on a meal plan for three to six weeks, if that, and you basically find yourself struggling to get through it because you're so structured, okay? We promote with you guys to create your own meal plan so you can actually find what you enjoy and then live off of that because it's lifelong, it's long-term, okay? What happens with meal plans, guys, you, you go through, it's, maybe some of it's okay, but you go through certain meals that you really don't enjoy, and it's just not something you're gonna do forever, okay? It's not setting you up forever, okay? You may lose weight on it, but once you come off it, what do you do? You go back to doing what you did prior. You go back to old habits and you put the weight back on. This is yo-yo dieting all over again, okay? We don't want that. We wanna learn how to take control over your own nutrition and over your own meal plan. Okay, what is flexible dining, guys? Flexible dining is scientific approach to measuring your nutrients through macro tracking, tracking your protein, fats, and carbs. What's really cool about this, guys, is we start to think about macros as a macro budget. Okay, we have targets for your protein, we have targets for your fats, we have targets for your carbohydrates. Okay, if we hit those targets, guys, you're within your budget, you're not going into the red, you're going to see progress, you're going to see results. Okay. This is absolutely amazing because it is a long-term solution, guys, okay? You actually can enjoy your life. If you're gonna go out to dinner because it's your birthday, it's your friend's birthday, you can actually fit that into your macros, okay? You can basically take your fats down from meal four and five, or you can even just have three meals for the day, though, just so you can actually hit that target again, okay? We always hear, it's actually pretty easy to actually hit my macros for that day, I was quite surprised. We always hear this, guys, and we actually can go and enjoy life Especially Christmas, we can enjoy Christmas, we can enjoy New Year's, we can enjoy eating out with family on the weekend and catching up with friends, basically because we can fit this into our macros, okay? And then we can keep seeing results long term. It's absolutely amazing. It is game changer right here, okay? Will you have to track your macros for the rest of your life? No, you will not, guys. Once you guys get to the point where you want to be, once you guys get to that dream body, we can teach you how to maintain, okay? You do not have to track macros for the rest of your life. If you're happy with where you're at, if it gets to that point, it's so much easy to maintain, obviously, your physique rather than it is to get there. We first have to get there, though, okay? I absolutely love this quote, guys. If we do what is easy, our life will be hard. If we do what is hard, our life will be easy. Just understand, guys, to start off with, it is going to be tough. It's going to be a bit of a push. We're creating new habits, okay? But once we set this foundation up, guys, it's all easy. It makes your life so much more enjoyable because you put that work in at the start, 
Okay, this is something, this is a quote that I absolutely live by, basically because it sets yourself up. Okay, you put the work in now and it sets yourself up for a better tomorrow. Okay, this is something we all have to implement.